What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today Apple released iOS 12 Beta 5 to developers. Pretty big update, 400 megabytes. I thought it would actually be slowing down, but there are so many good changes and features in this update that I can't wait to show you, can't wait to tell you about. And uh, Apple released a ton of new Mac OS Mojave wallpapers today as well. Stay tuned for that just a little bit later. So much to talk about today. Let's go ahead and get started. So the very first change that I noticed in this beta is that your passcode is a lot more concealed when you're entering it now. Before it was kind of flashy and bright, now watch the passcode bubbles. They are super subtle, subtle enough to where you can see it, but also not like super bright and flashy like they were in previous betas, which is a really good change. I mean, it was pretty easy to watch someone enter their passcode. Now when they're pressing those buttons, you can pretty much see where you're pressing, but the presses are much darker. And I think security wise, really good idea. Something very tiny, but something that I definitely noticed as soon as I started using uh, iOS 12 beta 5 and I just locked myself out. Next up inside of photos under the albums tab, you've got all these new icons right here for media types that look really nice. They're very subtle, they're very tiny. Uh, it's a pretty small change, but it makes it much easier for your brain to just register. Okay, this is videos, there's a video icon, this is selfies. That's it's a selfie icon. It makes sorting through what was just a list of text much easier, and also the icons look really, really great. You also get a new welcome screen for photos inside of iOS 12 beta 5, and it uses Apple's classic marketing text, a dynamic new tab that includes memories, you know, an effortless, intelligent way to share photos. Uh, so it's a pretty cool screen right here. Not a whole lot going on, but it does highlight the new big changes and features in the Photos app in iOS 12. Here's another really cool change in this update, just showing Apple's attention to detail if you have an older device without the iPhone 10 design, iPhone 6, 7, 8, so on and so forth, you get an adjusted icon reflecting how your device looks with bezels and a home button at the bottom, Touch ID, where if you're on the iPhone 10, you get the iPhone 10 design. Really cool change there. One of the cooler new features in iOS 12 is the ability inside of Apple Music to search for song lyrics. You can see I searched that lyric, came up with Can't Feel My Face for the weekend. Now in iOS 12 beta 5, there is a new screen right here letting you know that that's actually a feature because you wouldn't really know uh, unless you followed the beta cycle and the beta releases really closely. So you hit OK, disappears, but now it also says up here, search for artists, songs, lyrics, and more. Also inside of the music app, one of my biggest annoyances ever was corrected. The shadows around the pause and play button, and I think the other two, like rewind and fast forward buttons, are normal again. They're centered around it just like they should be. In previous versions of iOS 12, and I think even in iOS 11, the shadow was slightly offset, like it was not centered on these icons. Really small UI change, really small fix, but I'm so happy to see it because it was pretty jarring if you noticed it, and it's one of those things that you just could not unsee. Back a few betas ago on iOS 12 beta 2, iOS 12 beta 3, or some beta around then, the home screen got a little bit duller. It was a very small change, but something that I know a lot of you picked up on, something that I, I also picked up on after reading your comments. It was very subtle, but if you compare it, for example, in beta 5, it's back to normal again, to beta 4, you can see there is a subtle difference there. For some reason, the colors seem to be like pulled out of your screen by a Dementor, uh, but that is no longer the case in iOS 12 beta 5. And I think part of this change also affected Control Center. I don't know if this is separate, but the boxes here do look darker. They were a little bit lighter, probably once again part of like the faded overall UI look, but they're a little bit darker now. If we head over to our battery preference panel, you can see that battery health is no longer in beta. One of the cool new features in iOS 12 is you get this super cool charging graph, shows you low power mode when your phone hits, I think like 20-ish percent. But you can see here under battery health, it's no longer in beta. That feature initially launched after Apple's super complex and complicated battery controversy that I think began back in January or February of 2018. It was in beta for a few months, right before iOS 11.3 launched, and it is finally going to be out of beta officially with iOS 12. So if you use this feature a lot, I mean, it worked pretty well in beta, it's just not officially in beta any longer. This next change I never would have noticed on my own because I don't generally close out my apps, but one of you on Twitter shared this with me. If you have no apps in the app switcher and you try to access it, the vibration is much more subtle than it was before. I feel like subtlety is a trend with iOS 12 beta 5. Before it was a little bit quicker, a little bit more aggressive, and now it just feels really nice. Like it's it's awkwardly and, and oddly satisfying to like swipe up into multitasking now with no apps running. This next change was discovered over on Twitter by Guilherme Rambo. Uh, for some reason, the private frameworks used by news and stocks moved from the app bundles to new 
uh, folders, news and stocks inside of system, library, private frameworks. So this probably has little to no implication whatsoever, but that is new in this beta as well. Now, much more exciting than that is another internal or hidden change with iOS 12 beta 5. We have a new leaked video of the AirPods wireless charging case set to debut, probably alongside the AirPower wireless charging mat in just a couple of months in September. Uh, we've been waiting on these products for a very long time. Both were announced in September of 2017 along the new 2017 iPhone 8, iPhone 10, and this video was discovered via 9to5Mac. So we don't see a lot of new details here. We had already seen images of the AirPods wireless charging case, but the fact that Apple has included this inside of iOS 12 beta 5 means the launch for both of these products has to be right around the corner. When you're in Notification Center or on the lock screen right here and you 3D touch or long press on a non 3D touch device on this X to clear all of your notifications, the text got a little bit smaller here. Inside of the news app, if we tap right there, we've got some adjusted icons down here at the very bottom. I think today looks very similar or nearly the same. Channels also looks pretty similar, but Spotlight definitely gets an upgrade right there. And for some reason, whenever you tap on Spotlight, it switches over to the official like news app icon which looks a little bit strange. I don't know if that's a bug. I don't know if Apple's still working on that, but some new icons down here do look really great. Performance-wise, I don't know what Apple is doing with iOS 12, but it continues to get better. The performance is buttery smooth here on the iPhone 10, but even if you're on an older device as well, things just load up pretty much instantly. Uh, and I don't know what Apple is doing to change this because for the second time since I've been using iOS 12, I have an all new high score, 4,221 for the single core score. I don't know if that's my highest, but 10,602 for the multi-core score. This is absurd. On iOS 12 beta 4, 4,239, so a little bit higher in the single core score, but 10,478 uh, on beta 4 for multi-core. I got 10,551 on beta 3. That was my best score ever. We went up another 50 points on the multi-core score in this update. Apple's engineering team is nuts. They're making a lot of good changes, and uh, I just can't believe that this phone that's been out for a year is getting faster through software, like more than marginally. My phone was not getting above uh, maybe 10,100, 10,200 when iOS 11 first launched last year. Now I'm breaking 10,600. And battery life has also been really great. Obviously, I can't tell you how it is on iOS 12 beta 5 just yet because I've only been using it for a couple of hours, as I mentioned. However, it still feels really great. Like the battery life on beta 4 was a little bit lackluster. I wanted to see it a little bit better. So hopefully uh, it gets marginally or substantially substantially improved in iOS 12 beta 5, but even so, I'm still convinced that my battery life on the iOS 12 beta is better than what I'd be getting on the public release iOS 11.4.1. So inside of iOS 12, those are all the big new features and changes, but I also want to highlight something really exciting that also came out today, a new Mac OS Mojave beta. And normally I don't cover those just because I have much more interest personally in iOS than in Mac OS, but in today's update, Mac OS Mojave beta 5, Apple introduced a load of wallpapers papers that we've been dying to get our hands on forever. So I just had to talk about that in today's video. You can download all of them over on my website. Like I remember when I first saw these two, I was dying to get my hands on them. Those are the iMac 2017 wallpapers. And if you just tap on one, you get to download it in super high full resolution. And uh, it's, I don't know, it's absolutely incredible. Like when I saw this one, really wanted to get my hands on this new MacBook Pro wallpaper that's here. Apple, I don't know what, what came into them, but they got the new MacBook Pro wallpapers here just so much stuff that we've been waiting on forever. We got new flower wallpapers we've never seen before. Like all this came out of the blue. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this, these are for new products that Apple accidentally slipped in or they're hinting at the next generation of something. Probably not. They're probably just wallpapers. However, they look really great. These are a little bit funky. You got shapes, you got flowers, uh, you got Mac OS Mojave desert stuff all super optimized, all incredible. Uh, Apple once again knocked it out of the park with the new wallpapers on macOS. And I hope that we see the same treatment on iOS very soon. Unfortunately, in iOS 12 beta 5, there aren't any new built-in wallpapers or anything of that sort. We've just got our one new wallpaper for iOS 12 so far. But in the Golden Master version of iOS, that's generally when we see new wallpapers that'll be coming out probably within the next month and a half. Uh, so look forward to that. But in the meantime, to hold you over, download one of these really cool new wallpapers right here. Use it 
on your iPhone because I think all these look incredible and they're available, as you can see right there, at an absurdly high resolution. Huge shout out, by the way, uh, to one of my subscribers who tweeted this at me. You can go follow him on Instagram uh, right there. Link is also down below. All right, so as of right now, that is iOS 12 Beta 5. Those are the new Mac OS Mojave wallpapers. Let me know your thoughts on all this down below in the comment section. Do you like the direction iOS 12 is going in? Are you excited for the new iOS 12 wallpapers? And let me know your general thoughts down below in the comment section. I've been Sam. Until next time, drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and uh, I will talk to you all in my next video.